So lately on my farm, I've had a little bit of a dilemma. For more than a month now, I've had several different mother geese sitting on clutches of eggs here around our farm in northern Vermont. My hope has been that by sitting on those eggs that they would ultimately start to hatch out some little baby goslings. It takes about 30 days to hatch a gosling. But at this point, I have a problem because it's been almost 40 days and it doesn't seem like any of the eggs have hatched. It's about 5.45 in the morning right now and I'm about to start doing my morning chores and I'm gonna go check on the nests again. But I think if I don't see any activity in the next 24 hours, I'm gonna have to break up all of these goose nests or at least come up with some sort of creative plan B. Where's my Toby dog? How's it going there, buddy boy? Getting a good yoga stretch. Hey, pal. Just marking the fence line there, kid. The electric fence. Good morning, geese. How's it going? How is everybody? What's happening there, Buck Goose crew? How are you? So one of the nests that had been happening was right here where I actually had two geese that had been sitting right here. Excuse me. But in the last week or so, they have recognized that their eggs weren't gonna hatch and they've given up. I've also had a couple of geese that had been sitting right there. You can see, right? Still sitting very patiently on these eggs. I don't know if that mother goose gave up on the nest and just went out to get some food and water or what. But this gal is clearly hoping for some goslings to hatch out of her nest right here. And then finally, most controversially, for more than a month now, I've actually had these two geese sitting in this nest right here. Actually, one goose, the one you can see on the left, she's been there for more than a month. The other one, she's there for about two weeks now. And so yeah, like I said, I've got to figure out some ways to get these geese off of these eggs. Release the Kraken! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Toby. That goose is weird. I'm not even sure if I can call these guys goblins anymore. Rise and shine, little ones. Now in terms of breaking up the goose nest, I really only have two options for what I can do. The first option is I could just go in there, remove the eggs, remove the geese, and probably even block their access to the nest for 48 to 72 hours. And if I can do that, generally speaking, they will give up on that nest. But I've got to admit that that first option really, really bums me out because these geese have worked so hard to produce little ones. and for a host of reasons, they just aren't hatching this year. As I tried to let my geese hatch eggs this year naturally, I, I really was trying to be as laissez-faire as possible and be hands off with the whole thing. Last year, I had some geese hatch out their own goslings, but I was very hands-on and I very much managed their eggs and managed the time of their hatch and I think that was a more successful approach than I've had this year. But that said, that's my fault as the farmer. That's not the goose's fault. And so that leads me with the second option I have in front of me. You see, for the last 30 days or so, I've been incubating about 30 goose eggs inside my incubator. And so the other option I have here is to take these goslings that are just about to hatch and smuggle them underneath the mother and see if that mother goose adopts them. And so I think in today's video, I'm gonna actually do both approaches. I I'm not exactly sure how all of this is gonna turn out, but I will bring you guys along with me for the ride to see what happens. Welcome to the world, little ones. Ooh, they're still a 
little too weak to go out with your brothers and sisters. I know, it's a little chilly for you, little ones. Don't worry, you'll get under a warm mom real soon. Hey, Toby Dog. I know you're excited, Toby Dog. Got some new goslings here. Don't harass the new arrivals. You get to be a goose uncle again. Now the next step of this operation is gonna require a couple things. Now my preferred goose was actually this one. So let's see if she'll actually take this. <laughs> Take him? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, you might not be the right one for those. this mission. This isn't working well at all. Come on, little one. Oh, no. Alright, come on, little ones. We're going to take you to plan B. Okay, little guys. Here you go. Underneath the heat lamp. Nice and warm. Underneath, there you go. Nice and warm. Yep, all for you. Oh no. You, are you doing okay? You're the one who got hit. We're gonna see how you do. Underneath there, come on. Lower this for you guys, man. I'm not mad at that Emden Mother Goose at all. She was just. I don't know, doing what her instincts told her to do. I'm very mad at myself. I probably overstepped my bounds and I was monkeying too much with nature. You know, I've had it be successful with geese where I've hatched their eggs out and raised them up to adults and they've done great. I've had it work too, to a certain extent, where I've had parent geese hatch their own baby birds out and they raise them up and they do good as moms. Trying this hybrid approach where I hatch them and then give them to the moms, I don't know. I just feel heart sick right now about that little gosling that got hit. Whew. I mean, I don't know if you guys picked it up on the video, but that little gosling got smacked full on with uh, the goose wing and then got a good solid nip by the mom as well. She was not gonna accept those babies at all. That was all my fault.
don't you just take your time and try to explain this whole thing? All right, let me try to explain myself without it seeming kind of crazy. No, actually it makes absolutely no sense, but I'll try to explain to you. Later. No, you know what? Don't even try to explain this. Good morning, little gaslings. Hey, little guys. Look what I got. I got some of your favorites. Fresh greens. Some grass. Even a little bit of clover. So these little guys are doing good. They're about three days old now. This one right here, this is the one that got all that abuse by the mama goose. She's doing pretty good. She seems pretty healthy. And even though she, she was rather dazed and stunned post attack, she's actually seeming very healthy and happy. And so I have very high hopes for her survival. Yes, I do, little one. And I'm not exactly sure if you're a female. I had a total of about nine goslings hatch out of that batch of 30 eggs. It's still a much lower hatching rate than I'd like. You know, on a host of levels, I'm gonna be making some major changes when it comes to my hatching operation next year, but at this stage of the game, it's a little too late to, to change much. I've already sold several of the goslings. That's why you only actually see three of them in here. I didn't wanna sell the one that got attacked just because I was afraid that it might have some injuries and I would hate to sell somebody that bird. And then also, interestingly, one of my latest hatches is this little one right here. And you can see that its coloring is quite different than its brothers and sisters. I think that this one is actually uh, either partially buff goose or whole buff goose. So that means it's most definitely the offspring of Bruce the goose. And that to me is a very good thing because I really like Bruce and it's good to see him spreading his genes around the farm. And while it's nice to see those goslings doing well, I still realize I've got a problem I need to confront. 